My client's hair colour is now ready to be removed. So we've placed the client so she's comfortable in the chair. First thing we're going to do is emulsify the colour without applying any water. So making sure you've got your gloves on, we're just going to go around the hairline first and we're going to start emulsifying it up. The reason we're doing this is this will help to remove any colour that we've actually got onto the scalp or onto the skin. If you would just go straight in and wet the hair and try and shampoo it, you would have all of your colour build up on it. So we're just going around, just lightly, just massaging it in, just to make sure that we're getting any of the excess colour off the scalp. Okay. Once we've done that, we're then going to put on the water. Again, checking the water's okay. Is that okay for you? Then okay. just slightly wet the hair all the way through. And then we're going to turn it off. And then we're going to emulsify it again. So really we're using little, little movements, little massage movements, round movements. A bit similar to your rotary, just to try and remove the colour. All colours have the shampoo built in as part of their ingredients. So this is why it will start to foam up and act like a shampoo. And then again. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Always check the temperature of the water. And we're going to re-wet it all the way through to get some more of the colour out. Turn the tap off and then we're just going to go over it again. Because this is a darker colour we have to be like, real sure that we are getting all of it out. Also if we do miss any of the colour product the, the hair can actually continue to develop. Always make sure you try and put the client's head up also, um, because particularly um, with my model, we, the hairline was a bit lower, so we really need to make sure we're getting in there. Okay, just put your head back again, please. There we go. Is that okay for you? It is a bit more difficult to check the water temperature when you have got gloves on. So always just, you know, always ask your client first as soon as you put the water on. And make sure you keep your gloves on also because uh, you will get a lot of uh, stains on your hand. And mixing it with water, um, it can lead on to your contact dermatitis, which is obviously we want to avoid. I'm going to turn that off again. And then we should just hope you just get a final one. You see, they've put some on the, the model's forehead, but by just emulsifying it and just working around, it will remove it. If you find that you've got quite a bit of stainage around the hairline, then we can use your use stain remover to remove it. Make sure around the ears also. The idea is, is to make sure that the scalp is completely free of any colour. So we're having a really, really good rinse through. That should be it. So we make sure all the colour is removed and that the water is actually running clear now. We're going 
turn the tap off. And then we're going to squeeze out the excess water. At this point you can actually remove your gloves if you wish. We're then going to use our, we're just going to do one quick one light shampoo. Using our effluage to apply the product evenly. And then your friction. And this will also make sure that you have got every bit of colour off. down and then we're going to go into your rotary. The reason that we use friction first is to help remove the debris and the rotary is more of a nice massaging technique. Okay, we can go back into friction. Right the rain around the hairline, around the neck. And then finish with a bit of your effluage, your stroke and movement after. As you can see, some of the colour product has, has come out again due to the, the shampoo. Is that okay for you? Okay. And now I'm just going to do our final rinse. Once we've done our shampoo and our conditioner, we then squeeze it out and just make sure that there are no, there's no colour left at all in the hair. You can just do that by just having a, a quick check around the hairline. Okay, then we then just go round, pull the client up, we towel over, to that again. Make sure you do give it a nice little rub in the neck because the client has been sat there for quite a while. And then we just remove the plastic apron and then take the client over to our station. <laughs>